Oh, two. Sailing bucket list. We're Tom and Tracy. I'm Tracy. He's Tom. And we're uh, retirees from St. Louis, Missouri. For a long, long time, we've been dreaming of living on our sailboat. In episode 30, we're continuing to talk about gizmos and gadgets used on bucket list. And we will be discussing our favorite gizmos and gadgets as well. We define gadget and gizmo as a named or unnamed device not normally found in a home that is very useful on a boat to resol resolve a specific problem. We're going to be talking about the gadgets and gizmos that we keep on our boat and use frequently. First thing I want to say is that we are not sponsored by any product or any item that we show. We're not sponsored by anyone. We're just on our own. This is episode 30. We're going to discuss and talk about additional gadgets and gizmos. We're also going to talk about our favorites. If you like this and find it useful, please like and subscribe. Gadget 13 answers an age-old sailing problem. What is the weather outside the cabin? The solution to this problem was our purchase of an elegant wireless weather station. This battery operated station hanging on our wall has two transmitters. One we placed in the, under the cockpit table out of direct sunlight. The second we placed in the anchor locker. When we had our boat in Florida in the winter time, one day it was 60 degrees, according to the weather station, it was 60 degrees inside the cabin. Outside the cabin, it was well below freezing. So we knew we were well advised to stay inside and not go outside where there might be ice on the deck. The problem that Gadget 14 will solve is how to maximize storage space in the galley of a 32-foot sailboat. One way to maximize space in the galley is to carry collapsible bowls like this one. We have found that these collapsible bowls store nicely in compact drawer space. Another way to maximize space in the galley is to carry minimal cookware. In episode number 26, Welcome to Our Galley, I stated that we could serve dinner to six people using one saucepan, one small soup pot, and two skillets. This collapsible bowl does double duty and helps extend the cookware that we carry. It is a metal base with a silicone top and a lid. It can actually be placed over the stove and serve as cookware and for serving food. Gadget 15 solves two problems. Problem one, table salt tends to congeal in a marine environment. Problem two, what is a really good way to impress your guests on your boat at dinner time? We have really cool salt and pepper shakers, battery operated with a light. Turn them over. That's one of our luxury items. That's all. We really enjoy using gadget number 15, our battery operated salt and pepper grinder. We have found the, the use of these grinders have to, has solved the problem of congealed salt. We also have guests on board who routinely compliment our 
salt and pepper grinders. The problem Gadget 16 <coughs> hopefully will solve or answer. Are there alternatives to traditional pyrotechnic flares to fulfill the Coast Guard requirement for visual distress signals in coastal waters or on the high seas? Here is a photograph of pyrotechnic signal signaling devices, primarily flares. They have the advantage of uh, being very visible, both at night and at day, in the daylight. The disadvantages they have, they resemble fireworks, they are hard to store, they cannot get wet, and they will expire. What we are using on Bucket List is Gadget 16. It's a Weems Plath. SOS Distress Light. It is uh, battery operated, operates for several, hour, several hours, is waterproof, and requires no maintenance, and will broadcast an SOS signal in case of distress. Gadget 17 answers two very important questions. How much water do we have in our water tanks? And, equally important, how much waste is in our waste tanks? Or in other words, when do we have to go to the pump out, get a pump out? Both questions were answered by gadget number 17. It was an I-Series Tank Edge Tank Monitoring System 326. This particular system fulfilled our needs. One, because it gave the, the tank volume in percentages, not just full, medium, or empty. And second, there is nothing inside the tank. The monitors are on the exterior of the tank but it works quite well. Gadget 18 is my personal favorite of all the ones we've shown on the series of videos. It answers the question, how to keep sailing a sailboat for a bit longer as Tracy and I both get a bit older. Tracy and I have been sailing some 30 years. We also have reached the age, three score and 10, where we are starting to think about the future. With all this being the case, how can we continue doing what we love for as long as possible? Thinking back to episode three, I mentioned in that episode that I had lost the use of my right hand I could not hold a toothbrush for six months, much less crank a winch handle. Thankfully, I've regained the use of that hand now. However, I need the security of knowing that I can do my part on my boat whenever it's needed. The solution we came up with was Gadget 18. It's a winch right, Sayology cordless winch handle we purchased in 2021 at the Annapolis Boat Show. We have used this winch to bring in the jib sheets on bucket list in the North Channel and in other areas of the Great Lakes. We stow this power winch handle in its holder which we attach to the leg of the table in our co cockpit. This leaves it very accessible to us at any time it's needed. How do you optimize communication when the skipper and crew are at opposite ends of the boat? This could happen when you're dropping the anchor, when you're retrieving the anchor, when you're in a lock, or when you're approaching an unfamiliar marina. We've seen some people use hand signals, 
That, for us, that doesn't work because it just doesn't give enough information. We've seen other people that simply yell back and forth when the two people are about 32 feet apart. That doesn't work for us either, primarily because when one of us raises their voice, the, our anxiety levels tend to raise, and that's not a good thing. Gadget number 19 is my all-time favorite because it allows us to communicate confidently and calmly in challenging situations. In case you haven't guessed it, uh, uh, Gadget 19 is a two cruising solutions SPH 10-10 intercom communication headsets, aka married savers. What makes these headsets truly usable is that they're hands-free, they communicate via Bluetooth, and they are rechargeable. So many great gadgets that we carry on board and use frequently. We can hardly wait to go to another boat show and look for more. So this concludes Episode 30, Gadgets and Gizmos, Part 3. This is part of our ongoing series on enjoying boat life. Join us in two weeks for another episode of Sailing Bucket List. We really appreciate it if you subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.